Good day, learners! Welcome to another session here in Valenzuela Live Mathematics 6. This will be another day of learning opportunities for us. I am Mrs. Juanita F. Makinto of Lawambato Elementary School, your every life teacher for today. Before we proceed, I want you to do the following so that your teacher would recognize your attendance and participation. First, type in your complete name, grade and section, subject teacher, and school in the comment box. Then, use the comment box to type in your answers the questions that I will be giving during the discussion. And make sure you have your self-learning module, pen and notebook, to take down notes. As we continue in our live streaming session, we are now on the sixth week of the third quarter. Here are the objectives of our topic based on the most essential learning competencies. At the end of this session, you will be able to find the area of composite figures formed by any two or more of the following triangle, rectangle, circle, and semicircle, and solve routine and non-routine problems involving area of composite figures formed by any two or more of the following triangle, square, rectangle, circle, and semicircle. Now, let's start with our new exciting math lesson. For our first activity, which is called Perfect Match, you are going to match each figure in column A to the formula of its area in column B. I'll be giving you 5 seconds to identify the formula of each figure. Let's start with number 1. The figure is a square. What is the formula for finding the area? Yes, it's letter C. Area of a square is equal to side square. Next, number 2. What is the formula in finding the area of a rectangle? If your answer is letter E, you are correct. Area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. How about the third figure, a triangle? Find the formula in solving its area. Yes, it's letter A. Area of a triangle is equal to one-half base times height. Let's have number four. The figure is a circle. What is the formula of its area? Correct. It's letter B. Area of a circle is equal to pi times radius square. Let's have the last number. What is the formula in finding the area of a trapezoid? If you answered letter D, you are correct. Area of a trapezoid is equal to base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times height. Did you get all the correct formulas in finding the area of plane figures? Great job, grade 6 learners! Before we proceed to the next activity, let us recall the meaning of area. What is area? Area is the number of square units that cover the surface of a plane figure. For example, 
in this illustration, it has an area of 15 square units. And the next illustration, it has an area of 9 square units. Area is measured in square units. I hope that you still remember on how to find the area of plane figures using the given formula that you have learned. In this activity, I'll be giving you 10 seconds to answer each number. Okay, let's start. Find the area of a rectangle whose length is 9 cm and the width is 4 cm. Your timer starts now. Okay, let us see if we get the same answer. The area of a rectangle is 36 square centimeter. We got the area of this figure by using the given formula of area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. We multiplied 9 centimeter by 4 centimeter equals 36. 36 square centimeter is the area of the rectangle. How about the next figure? What is the area of a square whose side is 8 cm? What is its area? You're right. It is 64 square cm. Area of a square is equal to side times side or side square. Since each side measures 8 cm, we multiplied 8 cm times 8 cm equals 64 square cm. Next, what is the area of the triangle whose base is 8 cm and the height is 4 cm? If your answer is 24 square centimeter, you're correct. By using the given formula, we multiplied 8 centimeter by 6 centimeter equals 48. Then divide 48 by 2 equals 24. 24 square centimeter is the area of the triangle. Next. What is the area of a circle whose radius is 5 cm? What is your answer? If it is 78 and 5 tenths square centimeter, you are correct. Did you get the answer? Area of a circle is equal to pi times radius square. We multiplied 3 and 14 hundredths by the radius square, which is 5 square. 5 square equals 25. 3 and 14 hundredths times 25 equals 78 and 5 tenths. Therefore, area of a circle is 78 and 5 tenths square centimeter. How about the next figure? What is the area of a trapezoid whose bases are 8 cm and 6 cm with a height of 5 cm? If you get an area of 35 square cm, absolutely. You're correct. Using the given formula, we added 
8 cm and 6 cm, that is equal to 14. 14 divided by 2 equals 7. Then, multiplied 7 by 5 equals 35. Thus, the area of a trapezoid is 35 square centimeter. Now that you have basic understanding on how to find the area of plane figures using appropriate formula, you can apply it in all figures, but in real life, not every figure can be clearly classified as a rectangle, square, a triangle, or a circle. In this lesson, you will learn how to find the area of composite figures. Let us define first what is a composite figure. Composite figure is a two-dimensional figure made up of more than one basic two-dimensional shapes such as triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, and semicircles. Here are some examples of composite figures. In figure 1, it is made up of a rectangle and a semicircle. Next, figure 2, you will notice that it is formed by a square and a triangle. Let's have another example, figure 3. It is made up of a square and a circle, wherein... A circle is inscribed in a square or there is an overlapping of figures. Now, in finding the area of composite figures, it is necessary that you can identify the basic shapes that made up of in a given figure. For better understanding, let us find the areas of these composite figures. Okay, in the first illustration, it is an example of composite figure, wherein it is made up of a square and a rectangle. To find its area, first, we need to separate it into basic figures, a square and a rectangle. Second, find the area of each figure. In finding the area of a square, we may use this formula, area of a square is equal to side square. We multiply 4 times 4 equals 16. Area of a square is equal to 16 square centimeter. Next, find the area of a rectangle wherein area of a rectangle is equal to length times the width. Multiply 12 times 4 equals 48. The area of a rectangle is equal to 48 square centimeter. Then, add the area of the two figures. 16 square centimeter plus 14 square centimeter is equal to 64 square centimeter. That's the area of that composite figure. Let's have another example. This figure is made up of a semicircle and a triangle. To find its area, we need to separate it again, the figure, into semicircle and triangle. Second, find the area of each figure or shape. Since area of a circle is equal to pi times radius square. The figure is only half of a circle. We need to divide it by 2. Therefore, the area of a semicircle is equal to pi times radius square or 1 half of pi times radius square. The semicircle has a diameter of 6 cm, whereas we are looking for the radius. We need to divide it by 2, where 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 cm. Next, 
multiply 3 and 14 hundredths by 3 squared. Note that 3 squared is equal to 9. 3 and 14 hundredths times 9 squared centimeter equals 28 and 26 hundredths squared centimeter. Then, 28 and 26 hundredths squared centimeter divided by 2 is equal to 14 and 13 hundredths. The area of a semicircle is 14 and 13 hundredths square centimeter. Now, find the area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2 or 1 half base times height. The base is 6 centimeter and the height is 10 centimeter. Multiply 6 centimeter by 10 centimeter is 60 square centimeter. Next, divide it by 2 equals 30 square centimeter. The area of a triangle is 30 square centimeter. Then add together the area of the semicircle and the triangle. 14 and 13 hundredths plus 30 equals 44 and 13 hundredths square centimeter. The area of this composite figure is 44 and 13 hundredths square centimeter. Let's have more example. Find the area of the shaded region. Use pi which is equal to 3 and 14 hundredths. As you notice, this figure is made up of a circle and a triangle. We should separate or divide this figure into two, triangle and circle. Second, solve for the area of each figure. Area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. The base is 20 cm and the height is 15 cm. 20 cm times 15 cm equals 300 square centimeter. 300 square centimeter divided by 2 equals 150 square centimeter. Area of a triangle is 150 square centimeter. Next, find the area of a circle whereas area of a circle is equal to pi times radius square. Radius is 4 cm. 3 and 14 hundredths times 4 cm squared. 4 cm squared is equal to 4 cm times 4 cm. 3 and 14 hundredths times 16 square cm is equal to 50 and 24 hundredths. The area of a circle is 50 and 24 hundredths square centimeter. Then, subtract the area of the circle from the area of the triangle. Why we subtract? We will subtract because we are looking for the area between the shaded region of the triangle and the circle that is inside the triangle. 150 minus 50 and 24 hundredths is equal to 99 and 76 hundredths. The area of the shaded region of a triangle is 99 and 76 hundredths square centimeter. For the last example, a 5 inches by 8 inches picture is framed in a rectangular board which is 7 inches wide and 10 inches long. What is the area of the board that can be seen? Let us analyze and solve the problem using the four steps. First, understand the problem. What is asked? The area of the board that can be seen. What are the given facts? A picture which is 5 inches wide and 8 inches long. A rectangular board which is 7 inches wide and 10 inches long. What is the hidden question, if any? The area of the picture and the area of the rectangular board. Second, devise a plan. Make an illustration. 
for a clear representation of this problem. Then, we need to separate the figure into rectangles. Rectangle A represents the picture and rectangle B represents the rectangular board. Then, identify the appropriate formula to be used, which is area of a rectangle is equal to length times the width. Third, carry out the plan. Find the area of rectangle A using the given formula. Area of a rectangle is equal to length times the width. 8 inches times 5 inches is equal to 40 square inches. Rectangle B. Area is equal to length times width. 10 inches times 7 inches is equal to 70 square inches. After finding the area of the two rectangles, subtract the area of rectangle A from the area of rectangle B. Why we subtract? We subtract because there is overlapping in two rectangles. 70 square inches minus 40 square inches is equal to 30 square inches. Therefore, the area of the board that can be seen is 30 square inches. For step, check and look back. Find if find out if the area makes sense. Area of the board should be equal to the area of the picture plus area of the board that can be seen. Since both of the areas are equal to 70 square inches. Therefore, we can say that the answer is reasonable. For the next activity, you are going to find the area of the composite figures. You may write your answer in your notebook. I'll be giving you 30 seconds to answer each number. For number one, find the area of this figure. If your answer is 310 square centimeter, you are correct. How did you get the answer? Area of a triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2. 10 centimeter times 12 centimeter equals 120 square centimeter. 120 square centimeter divided by 2 is equal to 60 square centimeter. Area of a triangle is 60 square centimeter. Next, find the area of the rectangle. Area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. 25 centimeter times 10 centimeter equals 250 square centimeter. Then, add the area of the triangle and the area of the rectangle. 60 square centimeter plus 250 square centimeter is equal to 310 square centimeter. For the next number, find the area of the next figure. What is the area of this figure? Correct. The area is 256 square centimeter. Did you get the correct answer? 
Good job, learners! Area of a square is equal to side square or side times side. 8 cm times 8 cm is equal to 64 square cm. Next, the area of the rectangle, which is equal to length times width, 24 cm times 8 cm, is equal to 192 square cm. Then, add the areas of the square and the area of a rectangle. 64 square centimeter plus 192 square centimeter is equal to 156 square centimeter. Find the area of the next figure. What is your answer? If your answer is 494 square decimeter, great, you are correct. We got this answer by adding the areas of the two circles and the area of a rectangle. Since in this figure, we have two semicircles and two semicircles is equal to one circle. Area of a circle is equal to pi times radius squared. 3 and 14 hundredths times 10 decimeter squared. 3 and 14 hundredths times 100 square decimeter is equal to 314 square decimeter. Next, find the area of a rectangle which is length times width. 18 decimeter times 10 decimeter is equal to 180 square decimeter. Then, add the area of two semicircles and area of a rectangle. 3 and 14 square decimeter plus 180 square decimeter is equal to 494 square decimeter. Area of the composite figure is 494 square decimeter. Next, find the area of the shaded region. Area of a shaded region is equal to 40 square centimeter. Area of a rectangle is equal to length times width, which is equal to 12 times 5, is equal to 60 square centimeter. And in that figure, there are two triangles. And area of two triangles is equal to times one half base times height. 2 times 1 half, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So 2 times 10 is equal to 20. 20 square centimeter is the area of the two triangles. Then subtract the area of the rectangle minus area of two triangles. 60 square centimeter minus 20 square centimeter is equal to 40 square centimeter. Then, the last one, find the area of the shaded region.
What is the area? Yes, it is 216 square centimeter. Area of a square equals square centimeter or side times side. 12 centimeter times 12 centimeter is equal to 144 square centimeter. Then, area of a triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2. 30 centimeter times 24 centimeter divided by 2. Equal 720 square centimeter divided by 2. Area of the triangle is equal to 360 square centimeter. Then subtract the area of the square from the area of the triangle because there was an overlapping in the figure. 360 square centimeter minus 144 square centimeter is equal to 216 square centimeter. To sum up our lesson today, here are the pointers to remember. Area is the number of square units that cover the surface of plane figures. Composite figure is a two-dimensional figure made up of more than one basic two-dimensional shapes such as triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, and semicircles. To find the area of a composite figure, Separate the figure into simple, non-overlapping figure. Then, find the area of each figure. Add the area of the figures if it is non-overlapping figure or subtract the area of the figures if it is overlapping figure. Now, it's time for our question and answer. If you have questions, just type in in the comment section. I will do my best to answer those questions. We have a question. When do we add or subtract areas of two simpler figures in a composite figure? We add areas of two simpler figure in a composite figure when there is no overlapping in the figure and we subtract it when there is an overlapping in the figure. If there is no more questions, I want you to get your self-learning module and take note of your assignment. And with that, thank you so much, great learners, for participating in our discussion for today. I hope that you learned something. Goodbye and God bless. Keep safe, everyone.